G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. What I've got today is some homemade or DIY tree straps. And the reason why they are homemade or DIY is simple. I tried to buy some online and I couldn't find anywhere that actually sell them in this particular multicam, which matches my hammock I use and also one or two of my tarps. So I'll show you the video of me making these and whilst you're watching that I'm going to put the hammock up and I'm going to see if they are uh, strong enough or we'll make sure they don't break and I end up on my ass. So see you shortly. Double stitching around and I'll just try and annex it to give it a bit of more reinforcement. So that should hold that together. And this is the first strap which I just did as a practice. And then this is the first time I've used a sewing machine, or the first time since I was a kid at school. I think I did pretty well. So let's start the second one and show you from the beginning. And if every now and then you see a little paw appear or a little face, we've got a five month old kitten who likes to get involved. Her wife got it for her, but the cat for some reason has chosen me as its human. So everywhere I go, the cat follows everything I do, the cat wants to do with me. So here we go. First thing, I've got four meters of this webbing, or oh, this strap. And this is a 46 millimeter, which is about an inch and three quarters, which should be ample for protecting the trees. And I've still got four meters and I just cut in half Put another light on. I hope you can see that now. I cut in half and I melted the end so it wouldn't go any further. But that is a bit brittle. So, what I'm going to do, like I did on the first one, is I'm going to fold it over and I'm just going to stitch down so it's a nice clean finish and it's not going to tear anywhere. So, let's get this all set up. I hope the cat stays out of the way. Let's drop that down. Uh, I don't know. That has to be underneath, doesn't it? Oh, my thread's come undone. Bugger. Okay. Let's thread that again. Well, I have got a threading bit on this sewing machine here. Bring down, but it's just as easy I've found from now to just. Set already. I think I found it just as easy to do it by eye. Let's start again. I should turn over the top. Is just a household one, so really you shouldn't be doing thick webbing straps like this. But as long as I take it easy, it should be okay. So there it is, that's the first done. As you can see, I just 
because when it I started this end, I ran it down. So I first I brought it up and back down, which secures it so it doesn't pull out. I brought it up and I came back and I doubled it again. Let's give it a snip. Now you can see the difference. There's the mounted end. Let's turn it around to so see the actual finish. And there's a the difference. Nice and clean finish. So the first one is down here. So I'm going to use this as a template. So there we go, I folded it so it's the same. I've lined this up just with the edge of, or the end of the strap where I folded it over. So hopefully, let's get it right. You're learning with me. Four, four, five, back, let's four, five, and back forward again. And back foot again, all the way. I think the core is a good one, or reinforcing stitch, I'm not sure, but I've never been taught, like I said, except when I was at school, we had to go. So this is me learning at the same time. This scissors are a load of rubbish. Yeah. Doesn't matter. They're working with a bit of messing around. So that one's gone down here. I actually went offline. And I've been picking it up about an inch away and do the same on this one. I've got all that yet. So now I've got one knot and the second one there. So now I'm going to put it, actually I've got to trim it so it makes it easier for me to work with it. That's clean, all the loose threads are gone. And here we go, drop it back down. And I'm just going to, similar to this, I'm going to bring it from this end to this corner, from this corner to this corner. I've lost the thread again, it's come out. I've got to learn to hold that, I think. I'll show you this feather. It's supposed to, I think, bring it down around this. Oh, almost just as awkward. Up in there. Oh, missed it. 
Oh, let's try again. I didn't think it went around this way this time, I think. There it is. It's pulled the thread through. Like I said, it's a bit of a pain. But it gets it done. Where was I? Here we go. Let's get that in position. Drop that down. Again, over the cutter, trim all the loose bits off. And the thread I'm using is 100% nylon thread, so it should be more than capable of doing the job. And that one, it's like a Z, a Z or a Z, however you pronounce it where you are. Now we've got the top and the X in the middle. So I'm going to run the same down either side now. close to the edge there. Still, still good. Thankfully. And now do on the other side. We'll bring this one in a bit more. Oh, lost that thread again. Didn't hold it. Enough. Was hard enough, firmly enough. Takes a bloody skill to just getting your thread in here. That's it. Let's 
put the strap in. What I might do with this one is all the little bits that are sticking up. Just get my light and I think I'll melt them in place after. holds the breath and the concentrating. Oh, the cat's got the other end of the strip. Since we're playing now. There's the first end of the second strap. We've got a box stitching all the way around. Put the X in there. And we tidied the end up by just folding it over and tucking it in. The actual loop, I think it's about two, three and a half, four inches from this point here. So it's more than enough to get a good carabiner or put the strap through on itself. Right. That all depends what size, you can have any size you want, you can have 2 inches if you want, you can have 6 inches, that's all your choice, how big a loop you want. I just went with, folded it over, thought, yep, yeah, that looks decent. So now let's just get the other end done. Got the second end done. So we've got the box all the way around and got a nice reinforcing X in the middle. And we've got this folded over with a nice clean finish. And again we've got the about the three and a half four inch loop. So here we go, the hammock's up. I'll quickly show you how I've got these straps set up. Like I said in the video of making them straps, I did put the loops on either end. So the actual straps can go through the loops, or like I've done today, I've actually used some carabiners. So let me quickly show you that. Now here we are. You can see the stitching. I did the box and the X, and it's all double treble stitched. I've actually used a carabiner through it today, just to make it a bit easier but the strap does fit so they're nice and easy. And I've taken it all the way down, use another carabiner to attach to my one inch straps or hammock straps. So there's the basic setup. So now let's check that it doesn't break as I get in it. So here we are, I'm going to take it, I'm not the biggest of people or heaviest, but I'm probably, I'll say about a good 10, maybe 15 kilos overweight. Fingers crossed. Bit of creaking. Well, I 
I'm not on the floor, so that's a good start. Now these straps are, I believe, about one and three quarters of an inch thick or wide, which are good three quarters of an inch bigger, or technically we're using the one inch ones and wrapping them around twice, they're going to overlap. So it's probably the same as using a one inch strap doubled. So it's actually going to protect the tree a lot better than the little lightweight ones, the little one inch ones which is quite important because some of the trees are as, how can I put it, as um, as tough as these things. But these you still have to look after because you don't want to damage them. So there you go. My tree straps or tree hoggers or tree protectors. Same thing three different names there's probably more names for it out there so I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and it's your first time of coming to my channel please go down below and click on that like button click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care